words. I am a great bookworm, and bookworms learn all their words so that they can read easy. Okay, let's see if I know them. Get. Little. Like. Live. A. You. My. Will. It. Had. Has. He. Miss Anna would know her sight words too. <gasps> Silent screams. Do you know that Miss Underwood doesn't call them sight words anymore? She actually calls them power words because they give us power when we read. Did you know that? Well, I knew that because I uh, I know everything, Miss Underwood. I'm a bookworm and I study. Now, can we read the boys and girls their nighttime story? Well, I thought you would never ask. We picked the greatest nighttime story for them, didn't we? We looked, yes! We looked through all of Miss Underwood's books and we found one that we haven't read yet that I think you're gonna like a whole lot. It is called, I Got the Rhythm. And this little girl, boy does she have some rhythm. What do you think, Sam? Yes, Miss Underwood, she has some great rhythm. And she is going to show the boys and girls how awesome it is. Okay, so we're going to read this together a little bit like we did earlier. How about we do a I do and you do today, okay? So we'll show the boys and girls how we can partner read with somebody, okay? So you're going to be my partner today. So I'm going to read a page, then you can read a page. And maybe our boys and girls can partner read with either a grown-up or another brother or sister that they have in their house, okay? So we're going to partner read this book for you today. So I'm going to do a page, then my partner Sam is going to do a page, okay? So the way it's going to work is Miss Underwood's going to start reading, then Sam's going to read a page. Then it'll be Miss Underwood's turn, and then it'll be Sam's turn. Is that good, Sam? Sounds great. I love to share reading because reading makes you super smart. All right. Well, I'm going to start if that's okay with you. Sounds super duper great. All right. I got rhythm and it is written by Connie Schofield Morrison and illustrated by Frank Morrison. And there is the first illustration. I thought of a rhythm in my mind. Think. Okay, and since we're partner reading, this turn it's going to be Sam's turn to read the page. I heard the rhythm with my ears. Beat, beat. Now it's going to be Miss Underwood's turn to read. I looked at the rhythm with my eyes. Blink, blink. Look at that pretty girl. Look at her puffs. Look how beautiful her skin is. I smelled the rhythm with my nose. 
<gasps> you know what? Miss Underwood forgot to switch partners. And sometimes that happens when you're partner reading, and that's okay. The other partner just says, Uh-oh, you forgot to switch partners. It's my turn. And then they just start reading, and they read it. I smelled the rhythm with my nose. Sniff, sniff. Now it's my turn, right? Yes, ma'am. I sang the rhythm with my mouth. Ooh la la. This is a good book. I like this book, Miss Underwood. I Good job. Sound it out. K ah, ought, caught the rhythm with my hands. Hands. Clap, clap. I'm so proud of you, Sam. You use the pictures to help you sound out the word. Good job. Awesome! Aren't we so proud of Sam for using his reading strategies? Good job. I'm going to give your antenna a uh, antenna vibe. Good job. Oh, picture. My turn. Are you ready? I kept the rhythm with my fingers. Snap, snap. Look at these. Look, they're dancing. I love these illustrations in this book. They're so beautiful. All the children, look how pretty they are. I, shh, uh, a rhythm with my huh, it's hips. Shh, ache, shh, ache. Shake, shake. You got that right. Yay! I sounded it out. Felt the rhythm with my knees. Knock, knock. Looks like everybody's feeling the rhythm. I walk the rhythm with my feet. Feet. Stop. Up. Stop? That's right. Stop. What's that mean? Well, <laughs> you don't have feet, so you wouldn't know what that means. That's when you have feet and you bang them on the floor. So it makes a sound. Stomp, stomp. Tap the rhythm with my toes. Tip, tap. Dance the rhythm of the drum. Beat, bop. I clapped and snapped and tipped and tapped. I popped and locked and hipped and hopped. Do you think she pot-locked and dropped it? 
I don't know, Miss Underwood's not very good at that, but I know some dancers in my class that are very good at dancing. Let's see. Let's, let's share reading this page, okay? Beep, bop, bing, bang. Creating a parade to her rhythm. Boom box, beat bop, kaboom, kaboom. I got the rhythm and you can too. Sam, do you think you've got the rhythm? I know I've got the rhythm. Those are some pretty good moves, Sam. I am telling you, I like it. I like it a lot. Now, I think the boys and girls want to see the picture. Look at her. I think my favorite part is her hair. What do you think? My favorite part is the rhythm. Watch me move. Look, watch this. I like it. You've got, I think you've got a rhythm just like she does. Now, Sam, I think our boys and girls learned a really good lesson today from you. They learned, one, that they need to be practicing their sight, their power words, and two, they learned how to partner read. And finally, you know what else they learned? They learned that if you use your reading strategies when you're reading your book, such as looking at the picture using your eagle eye, and learning how to sound out a word, and then go back and say it fast, that you can read big words you've never read before. I know, I've been paying attention in Saturday school, and I really love it. When I get to visit with the boys and girls, I cannot wait until next Saturday. Boys and girls, Please make sure you are practicing with me. Please, please. <laughs> Sam, the, I've tr trust me, the boys and girls that watch these videos, they are so smart, you just would not believe. I cannot wait for you to meet them in person. When all this is over and we are able to go to school, Maybe I will let you come to school when it's not a Saturday. Was that a silent scream? Was that another silent scream? Are you like double excited? Okay. All right. Well, Sam is so excited. I'm going to have a hard time getting Sam ready for bed, boys and girls. But Miss Underwood has had a really long day, but a really good day. Grace moved back home today, so we're excited. Silent Springs for Grace moving back home. But you know what else? She's really excited. She got to spend two parts of her day with you today. And I hope you know that Miss Underwood loves you from the tops of your head to the bottom of your feet. Sam, what did I tell you? I'm sorry, Miss Underwood. I like to say it too. Okay. I know you like to say it, but I really like to say it to them because I miss them a whole bunch. Okay, so let me say it, okay? Yes, Miss Underwood. I will follow the big rule. Listen when your teacher is talking. Okay, Sam, let's follow the big rule. Listen when your teacher is talking. All right, so the big rule. Listen when your teacher's talking. Especially when she's trying to tell you how much she loves you, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, I love you from the tops of your head to the bottom of your feet. And I really hope you had a really fun day on Saturday today. And I hope maybe you read a little. And I hope you did something creative. And I hope that you sleep well tonight. And you get tucked in super tight. 
and that you wake up tomorrow and you have another really great day. And Miss Underwood cannot wait until she can see you and squeeze you and then give you a great big giant pickup hug. Because I love you and I miss you. Hug. Until then, virtual hugs. Kisses. Love you. Good night.